Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mr. Dancy Pants, and today we're bringing you another tutorial on the cape knot. Now, before we get started, if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you get an alert every time I release a new video, and go ahead and leave a like, leave a comment down below. If you have any questions, please ask them, and I will absolutely respond. Now, let's go ahead and take off the vest, take down the knot, and get started. So we're going to start this knot with the blade of our tie on the right hand side, the tail on the left. Now we're going to go ahead and fold our blade in and then back out against itself. We're going to bring that to the middle. Our blade is about four fingers above our waist. Now we're going to take the tail of the tie, we're going to bring it over the top, behind the back and up through the collar. Just like that we're going to make sure we get this kind of tight here we want this to be a tight knot we're going to bring it across the back up the front and again back through the collar this should look very familiar this is a very common way of starting a lot of knots now we tighten that up we bring it across the front at this point it looks very similar to a windsor knot simply tied with the tail but what we're going to do is bring this up and over through the collar over the top and then we're going to bring this behind the back from the left to the right bring this up and through the collar one more time so that little Windsor knot that we had tied now has this little almost a jacket that it's wearing. Now we're going to loosen that loop and we're going to take the tail and we're going to tuck it through that loop in the back. Just like that. And we're going to go ahead and make sure that our knot is up where it needs to be. And we can loosen this loop right here just a little bit what's important is that the tail comes down through that loop and sits evenly. It's very easy to get it skewed one side or the other. So we're going to bring that down just like that and you can tighten it as you as you like but our tie is now wearing a cape. If you have enough tail left over you can simply tuck it into the loop there. I usually don't so I will use a tie tack and place a tie tack right about here so it's still visible and it helps preserve the crease right here as well as hold everything in place. And we lower our collar. Bring that down right there. And there we go. Beautiful. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the cape knot, an excellent little knot. I highly recommend it for solid ties or ties with a pattern across the entire tie rather than something with stripes. Um, but you can go either way. It's just a solid tie or something that has a larger pattern will uh, show up a little bit better. The stripes will kind of obscure the knot itself. If you like what you saw, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And feel free to share the video if you have somebody who might be interested uh, in learning something like this while we're all stuck inside. Until next time, take care.